What's up everyone, it's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a custom domain to bolt.new apps. So any app you create, as you know, you currently have a domain that is not a custom domain. So for example, if I wanna go here and if I wanna click on this domain right here, you will see that this is the current domain that I have. It looks really ugly and also this title right here, it looks really ugly as well. So what you can do is you can also change the icon of this, the title, and let's also change the domain name so that it's a custom domain name. So first of all, what we wanna do is uh, we obviously wanna go into the code and go into the index HTML. So here you can actually change your name. So let's say this is called a break even ROAS calculator. So let's type it like this. Also for the, um, for the image, which is this favicon, you will need to have a link to the favicon. And uh, I actually think you can um, go and here you have meta name or icon here you have type and then here as you can see you have an icon uh, link so for example if i go here and if i type in copy link address i think i should be able to delete this paste this right here and then i should be able to save this or deploy this again so let's deploy this again right here and uh, we'll need to wait a little bit. So let's see how that looks like. And then obviously here you will be able to have an icon. As you can see, it already changed. So the icon did not change. It should take a bit until it, it's changed, but this is how you can change the, uh, the icon. Now, uh, to basically add a custom domain, you will need to claim this URL right here. So to transfer this net, uh, that net leafy project to your own account, you can use this URL. So click here. So what you will need to do is you will need to create a, um, uh, account on Netlify or Netlify. I think it's, it's called Netlify. And then you will need to add this project to Netlify dashboard. From there, as you can see, this is how it's going to look like right here. And basically you wanna go on it and you wanna go and click on site configuration or actually you can go to domain management immediately. And as you can see here, this is current domain and here you can add your own domain. So click add a domain and here, as you can see, you don't have to know anything about DNS records, about, you know, connecting, you know, your domain. You simply want to go here and add your own domain. So for example, I can call it, you know, breakevenroascalc.com. I can click verify. And basically what I can do is, as you can see, it's available. I can simply go and I can add a payment method here and I can purchase that domain. So here uh, you obviously add your payment method. I will not go through this in this current tutorial. And then you simply register domain now for $15. And this is $15 for one year. And uh, yeah, so it will be yearly. And then what you wanna do is you go to site overview and here you will have your custom domain. Sometimes you will need to wait a little bit until your custom domain is initialized. But as you can see, currently our site is deployed. We need to set up a custom domain, which I just showed you right now. And then you need, to, uh, if, if this is still open, make sure that this is also automatically uh, enabled. So click on this whenever it's uh, ready, as, as this current is ready, right? So when I set up a custom domain, this will be ready as well. So I can click on it just like this. And then I would be able to secure my site with an SSL. Uh, certificate and then our site is pretty much ready to go right it will be hosted on Netlify and then we would be able to go here and refresh it and we'll be able to use this for you know to rank on the website now if you want to maybe embed this on your WordPress website or on your Webflow website or on any type of website or CMS platform we have a video on that as well coming out today. So you can check out that video as well on our channel. So this is basically how you can add a custom domain to bold.new apps. Very simple, very easy. Again, uh, this is how you change your favicon. This is how you change your uh, title in the tab right here. And that's pretty much it, right? You can also obviously go here and add a prompt 
can you change you know a favicon to be this and then you have a link like a google drive link um, that is public you can do that as well however this is pretty much the best way to do it so if you want to know more about bolt.new uh, we have a bunch of tutorials on that if you want to know more about ai specifically ai apps we have a bunch of tutorials about that as well subscribe to our channel and uh, hopefully this will help you out we'll see you in the next video